Um, I'm, uh, I'm Sean Landsman. I'm a PhD student at UPEI. I study under Michael Vanden Heuvel. There are lots of little impoundments all over PEI, uh, lots of small dams. When you build a dam, you have to build an associated fish passage structure. That can be something as simple as just a little runaround bypass channel or something much more complicated. So, so Ducks Unlimited came to UPEI and said, you know, we, we're interested in studying some of the fishways on PEI, um, particularly the fishways that, that we manage, but we need your help. I'm uh, Jonathan Platts. I work for Ducks Unlimited Canada here in Charlottetown. Like I said, we have, we have a lot of different style of fishways here in Atlantic Canada. And now there's this new uh, type of fishway that we're investigating. Um, it's, it's called a nat natural, naturalized channel or a nature-like fishway. So this, is, this type of structure is less challenging uh, for the fish and might be a design uh, very suitable for lots of PEI rivers and streams because they are so small. The traditional style of uh, fish passage uh, structure is usually a, a pool and weir fishway. Okay, so this is called an alternating uh, pool and weir fishway. The fish come up the stream here and they can enter the bottom of the fishway uh, there. They then have to navigate through these notches and jump, basically jump up through the notches to get into the pools. And they can kind of uh, just ascend the ladder uh, in a stepwise fashion until they get up to the top of it and into the pond itself. Uh, the drawback of this style is that when the fish have to go through each of these notches, uh, it's challenging for them and that's why uh, Ducks Unlimited and the province sort of came back and looked at this site and said, oh, you know what, I don't think this is passing rainbow smelt, but we need to pass them. So that's why they installed the Nature Lake Fishway, which is just over there. Um, so we're trying to figure out what the efficiency of these fish passage structures are uh, so that we can ensure that fish migrating into PEI rivers and streams can actually make it to their spawning grounds and continue to reproduce successfully. We tag them with little microchips, uh, let the fish go, they can migrate up the stream, and as they pass through these antennas, their ID number essentially gets logged on a little computer that's on shore. Uh, Ducks Unlimited has provided us with uh, lots of logistical support, uh, financial assistance as well. So it's important that we team up with, with those people that have the experience and the expertise in fish biology and uh, fish, uh, fish behavior, as well as the, the experience in, in tracking the movement of fish through different systems. And UPEI has that. One of the, the greatest things about this project is that I, I know that at the end of the day, um, when I'm finished with my, with my work, that I have, have had some kind of impact on PEI. Um, benefiting all of the people that enjoy the resources, whether you know you actually just like to come out and fish, or whether you know you're just a, a kid that likes to come down to the river and see a bunch of rainbow smelt. If if I if I know at the end of the day that I have figured out um, which structure is best to put in on PEI, and that's actually applied to the province, I, I think that's really great. <laughs>